This marks the beginning of media unit number three. Going back on record, time is 11.02 a.m. Uh, Ms. Reyes, uh, you remember you're under oath, correct? I do. I do. Okay. Now, this email reflects that on March 10th, 2020, you, you sent the suspension guidance document uh, to, excuse me, to Ms. Wanda Garcia for her review, correct? I can't see what you're showing. Uh, you can't, you can't see on the screen. Uh, I see a very email. small doc. I see a very small document, but I don't see what. Huh. It's blurry. What, you, what we see on the you're screen. You're showing the finder window. Your document. Oh, okay, okay. Let me let me redo that then. Uh. Is that any better, or do I? Yes. Okay. I can see it there. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, so you, you um, so on so on March tenth, you um, sent the suspension guidance document to uh, Wanda Garcia and Juan Ramos, correct? Yes, sir. And then you you would have would you have gotten an email back? from Wanda Garcia approving your draft? Not necessarily. Well, how, how would you, you, you required some form of approval, correct? She may have spoken with Juan directly. So it could have come either from Juan or from, or from, or from Correlations. And then how would Juan have communi communicated his approval to you? Again, probably verbally since we work in the same space. But do and do you have any specific recollection as to how approval of the suspension guidance was provided to you? I don't. No. I don't. Can I say something about the meeting? Uh, the, the what? The meeting with Mr. Coleman? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. So um, I was thinking, so during the break, I'm thinking, and um, I was thinking of something that you asked. And I think, because there was a mention of David Davis, I think that I might be confusing that meeting with the meeting from the social media violation. I think David may have actually sat in the, in the one for this Buffalo event. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's, let's, let's come back to that in, in a moment. Um, Let's see. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. No. This is all shot. Um, well, um, I've now have a, a document. A, with the same title, crew member progressive guidance report. Can, can you see that? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Is that, um, how, how soon after, or do, do you know on what date you sent to Mr. Coleman, the crew member progressive guidance report? Um, I don't remember, but it should be documented on the bottom. Okay. Well, hold on, let's go back. Maybe. <laughs> let's go back. I don't remember this old file. The new one has the date on the bottom, so I'm not, it, it may have the date on the bottom, this one. So I may. Is that, is that now, can that be seen now, the, the third page of the crew member progressive guidance report? Yes, sir. Okay. But there's there's a signature line with no signature and a date with no date. So this this document doesn't give any indication of when you sent this to Mr. Coleman, correct? Yeah, no, it does not. Okay. And do, do you recall the day? I don't. Do you recall how many days after you obtained a, uh, after after you sent it to Mr. Ramos and Ms. Garcia? I do not. Okay. Is it possible looking now at what, what I've uh, 
designated as Exhibit F, we see at the bottom, it's signed by Mr. Coleman on March 16th, 2020. Um, you see that at the bottom? I see that he signed it on that date, yes. Okay. Uh, is it possible that you did not send it to Mr. Coleman until March 15th? I, I, I don't, I don't know. You don't know when to okay. Okay. Um, now you, you you wanted to you said you made a uh, you you reflected during the break and that perhaps the in person meeting that you had Mr. with Mr. Coleman was attended also by David Davis. Is that your testimony? I think that I'm mistaken the one from the social media violation for the one for this event. Mm -hmm. I it's a possibility that David Davis was the one that attended that meeting um, since he was the one that took the the complaint from the from the beginning. OK, so what to to your best uh, given given that correction, what what what's your best recollection of. Who attended the list of attendees? at this um, meeting with Mr. Coleman uh, in, in January of uh, 2020? Uh, very likely David Davis. And um, like I mentioned before, there would always be someone from Career Relations present. So one, someone from Career Relations with the possibility of either being Wanda or Grizel since they are our local Career Relations. So you have no spe specific recollection. Is it is it fair to say you have no specific re recollection of anyone else who attended other than Mr. Coleman? Uh, that's fair. No, yeah. that's fair. Uh, can, can, can you remember at, at this, and, and, and it was, it was it just the one in-person meeting that you had with Mr. Coleman concerning the Buffalo matter? To my recollection for like an actual sit down meeting from my yeah. recollection, from what I'm aware of. Yes. Just one. Just one. Uh, can you remember anything that Mr. Coleman said at that meeting? I, I don't. And, and uh, now you're not certain whether Juan Ramos attended that meeting or not, correct? I know, I know for sure Juan was with me in career relations for the other, for the social media one. Okay. Um, this one, I, I don't recall. And, I, and I'm pretty sure it's because I'm mixing up the two meetings. Okay. Well, isn't, isn't it possible that with respect to the, the Buffalo incident in January, isn't it possible that you never met face-to-face -face with Mr. Coleman? It's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll pass the witness, uh, Lillian. I have no further questions. Uh, Ms. Moon might have questions for you. Yeah, sorry, I was now having technical difficulties. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I have no uh, questions and she will read. Okay. I'll take us off the video record. This concludes today's videotape deposition of Linda Reyes. This is media unit three of three. Going off the record, time is 11.10 a.m.